We're going to be talking about giving hope. Um, we had the opportunity. There's many weeks, so much planning that goes into this. And I know we've been talking uh, with you all about it since probably the middle of November. And yesterday, we finally had the opportunity to host these precious families uh, here at the Northeast Campus. And there is just an army of volunteers that help make this happen. So many of you are a part of it, but all of you are a part of it as you are faithful givers in this house. Um, we're going to show some of that video to you, but the experience honestly is hard to convey uh, unless you're in that environment because every single touch point is prayed over. I'm going to invite Annie Siebert Warzibach up. She's a part of our family ministry team. Annie is a part of that team that goes over. Guys, these details that they go over, it's not just buying gifts, putting them on a table, hoping it all works out. Every single part of it is thought about and, and prayed over and calculated so that people, as they are welcomed in, they're welcomed into a beautiful environment. They're hosted every single step of the way. And one thing I love is the wrapping department. Yeah, here's that army of people that are welcoming everyone here. We're in a huddle, we're praying, we're expectant. I wish you could feel what that room felt like. Here's the gifts, it's just beautiful. It's like walking into this beautiful place that's been prepared just for you. And then, like I was gonna say, one of my favorite stops is the wrapping room. Cause it's not just, hey, here's your gifts. Uh, go on your way. It's, it's just that spirit of God that is, he's more than enough. He's over the top. He provides with us in a lavish way. And so we're able to wrap their gifts and, and then uh, someone escorts them out to their car. And we even had a gift for the parents. But Annie, we want to hear from you as you were a part of calling people to let them know that they were going to be able to come and shop for their children. And I know you had so many uh, phone calls that you wish that you could tell us about, but tell us about one. Yes, churches, thank you so, so much. From beginning to end yesterday, Giving Hope was so awesome. So many families were touched by the goodness and grace of Jesus. And that's thanks to you all for being so faithful. But one particular story, we opened the phone lines on November 27th. It was a Monday, and they rang off the hook. By Wednesday, we were completely full. We had over 356 kids um, on, on our list, over 120 families. And we had to unfortunately call a wait list. And on Thursday morning, I get a phone call from my mother and she said, hi, I want to sign up my family for giving hope. And I said, I'm so sorry. We now have a wait list. And she was like, oh man, this year has been such a rough year. And I know many of us can, can, can vouch with her. And anyway, I said, I'm going to add you to the waste list, but I'm going to, I said to her, we can believe Jesus. And she goes, yes, we can believe Jesus. Right. And I said, can I pray with you? And she said, yes. And she was so thankful. She was crying and we, we prayed. And I really believe that yes, Christmas is about Jesus's birth, but I believe that God is also a parent and he wants our kids to be blessed on Christmas morning. So anyway, I, I prayed with her, and from that moment, I was on a prayer mission, believing God that we were going to be able to do something awesome for her family. Jesus served the thousands, but he also left the 99 for the one. And I was like, Lord, I want this woman to experience your goodness and your grace um, this Christmas. So anyway, I kept going to Miss Barb and saying to her, can you open up the wait list? Can you open up the wait list? She kept saying, no, not yet, not yet. And finally, on Thursday, um, late afternoon, she's like, okay, we can, we can take this family off the wait list, and we can serve this family. And I said, yes, Jesus, I want to do something awesome for her. So I called her up and I said, not only are you off the wait list, but I can squeeze you in in the morning session so you can come in first and, um, and pick some great toys. She had five kids from 16 to six years old. And um, anyway, I missed her in the front, but I got her in the wrapping and I went up to her and I said to her, hi, it's Annie. And she's like, oh, my Christmas angel. And she threw her arms around me. And um, she said, because of the house of Seafan, you made Christmas possible for my family this year. And she said, thank you so, so much. So I want to echo her words, church. They are, yep, that's on you. There are so many great testimonies that have come out of Giving Hope this year. We had a salvation, three kids got saved, and there were so many great stories that have come forth from Giving Hope this year. So thank you for being so faithful and so generous. Yeah, so look at that. We had 371 kids that will be receiving gifts, over 100 families. All of these people are people who have stories. 
And we see in Matthew 25 where Jesus is there and he's, and he's talking to those people and he's saying, I was hungry, I was thirsty, I was sick, I was in prison, I was a stranger and you cared for me. Notice it doesn't say you were so good about determining if I deserved it. No, he said, you cared for me. And he said, they said, when did we do that? And, the, and he said, when you did it to the least of these. And so that's what you did, CFAN. That's what you were a part of. You sowed eternal seed. You are doing the work of the kingdom. And I just believe as I walked through that entire experience, it was bathed in the spirit of God and his attention was on it and he was blessing it. And we know that those children that are receiving those gifts, they are our future leaders. And they're gonna think of a time when there was a community of believers that loved them and showed them the love of Jesus, amen. God, we, we count it such a privilege to be able to sow into the kingdom work that you have commissioned us to this time in history. And so God, I pray that as we just bring our seed before you, that you would bless it. You would take it to the ends of the earth where you intend it to go and do more with it than we could ever ask, think, or imagine. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, amen.